our house functionality in terms of permission lists, the upkeep of the house, everything associated with it, and decorating the house is already well beyond what Star Wars Galaxy has right, right now. So I can go to my permission list, I can establish multiple permission lists. So if I wanted to run a tavern, which I can do right now in the game and choose to, of course it's all RP by and large, I can set up multiple permission lists. A permission list where my house is a public entity and five people who are employees of mine, if you would, have rights and responsibilities to the house that allows them to move stuff around. And then at eight o'clock at night when I decide to log off, I can load up a different permission list where only myself, my wife, and my partner, who's co-owner of the tavern, can access anything, including the door. So all of that stuff can be broken down and separated, and you can load and unload those lists as you see fit. And at some point in time, I want to have the ability to set them on a timer where they will automatically queue up. So when you know you're going to be online, you can grant permission to your home for people who you want to do business with, for instance. And you can just load and unload it automatically. So, Everything you see in here, other than the, the block fireplace and this counter, was placed by me by hand. Uh, things like that cup that's sitting on the shelf, see it? It's brown. It's kind of hard to see it. Pick it up. It's in my inventory. It's this bottle. When you drop it in the world, the interface looks much like it does with EverQuest 2. So if I put the cup on the floor, it sits on the floor. If I put it up on the counter, it sits on the counter. Put it over here, it's still on the counter. Now there's a bookshelf across the counter. Now, I can put it on the shelves of the bookshelf. Except if I want to, I can rotate the look around with my mouse wheel. I can control, alter the attitude to whatever I want. And then, alt, oh, spin it around. So, in just that amount of time, I can make a perfectly neat and or haphazard home. And then when I put that mug over there, I drop it on the shelf, now it's laying on side. Um, the mandolin on my mantelpiece. Pick up. Now what happens in Star Wars Galaxies? There's your mandolin. What what do you do if you want to move it? Well, in Star Wars Galaxies you had to have to set you had to set it to the height of the table. Drop it on the mailpiece. Here. I've got to get it on this. So drop it on the mailpiece, but it's not in the right attitude, right? So tilt it forward like so, so it's resting there, and then roll it forward. So it's leaning up against the back of the Done. So you have true 3D capability of positioning your items. With every item, with every item that in your house. So theoretically, I could flip over the chairs when I leave at night and put them upside down on top of the table if that's what I wanted to do. If I wanted to take the time to be that realistic with things. Um, when I have shelves, like the ones that I've placed above the mantle, I place that shelf. When I have shelves like this, every single object that sits on those shelves, my wares, I'm a blacksmith. The stuff in the weapon rack that you can click on is the stuff I sell. The, the vendor that's standing over in the corner, you know, all the displays of things that I have in my house, all the arrangements, all of those are things that I either earn as a player or things that I sell as a merchant. They're the trophies that I got, the boars head on the walls. Yeah, so I got the boars on the floor. There's the boars. Lights that you place in the game, of course, they, they shine on the wall, although you have to reset your house before that actually happens. You go in your house, the door closes, and you come back in. It looks like a horse head, which is very confusing to someone who has inventory for miles. <laughs> Comes in, spin it around, down there, that's fine, down there. Yeah, that was tough. And of course, it's all right back where you left it when you walk back home. Um, we'll have the ability to sit in chairs and so forth. Now, I'll show you how you see a house come into the world. This isn't how players will make houses, it's just an aspect of it. This thing here indicates the possibility 
that some sort of dwelling can exist. That should clearly be like in the ground. When I expect it, I see that there's a plot available here, that there's a cost 100 house that can occupy this spot, and I happen to know there's only one cost 100 house, and it's a guard tower. At some point in time, we, we want things like player cities to have guard towers for obvious reasons, so that NPC guards can spawn to protect the city for whatever reason would be necessary, either in PvP or player versus environment or what have you. But players will not be able to own more than one house. That's my house up on the hill. Because I'm a GM, I can purchase multiple plots. So I can click on purchase this plot. I can select the home. Now, depending on circumstances, there could be 13 or 14 or an unlimited number of potential homes for this location because the artists and designers laid the city out according to kind of their method to the madness. The only thing that can exist here is a tower. And I'll click on it and buy it. Fantasy zoning laws, I love Yep, fantasy <laughs> zoning. So it's my tower. I can decorate it just like I decorated the house up on the hill when the server crashes, it's back. When something goes wrong and the zone crashes, and I just drop my box, when I come back in, it's laying there. Everything saves. Um, when I've got too much gear to fit in my bank, and I do, I can run back to my house and throw it in the chest. The chest has 100 slots, and I can put a whole bunch of chests in my house. Of course, so they there'll have be a the same limit. permission as, as your house does. I set those permissions, so I could theoretically invite every guild member in my guild on the beta server today to have permission and access to my house, and they could share all of the things that I place with them. 